Ella's trying to hold my hand half around the course, <laughs> getting all romantic. <laughs> my horse is a total legend! Come on, Ella, you got this! <laughs> Good morning. I don't know if you guys can see me because I can't see you because it is so bright. But it's Friday and um, it's a very windy Friday as well. Luckily the yard is sheltered but I think it's, is it Storm Helen? Storm Helen? I don't know. Uh, we're just going to get the wind but um, no weekly vlog this week. We're doing something a little bit different because today is the start of a mammoth horsey weekend. I am just about to quickly sort out Goat's Field and then I'm rushing off to Poplar to groom for, oh it's going to get windy if I move any further, to groom for uh, Ella and Sarah and then I'm going, tomorrow we've got Board Hill and then on Sunday um, we're at Great Witchingham for, with Ella for Annie. So a busy, busy, horsey weekend but I'm just going to quickly sort out Goat's Field and then I need to go because they've already left. So um, yeah, although I can go a lot faster than them because I'm not towing a train um, but yeah, I just need to sort out Goatee's Field and then time to do some groom duties. Good morning, Goatee. Good morning. It's your turn to go out tomorrow. Hey. Okay. Right, I'll see you later. I've got to go and groom now. I'll see you later. Make a boy. <laughs> Every single time I have somewhere to go, I get stuck here. Ella, if you're watching this and I'm late, this is why. Okay, this is less than ideal weather. I don't even know if you can hear me. But I am babysitting the overgrown child here, which is Brock, because he can't stand, he can't be tied to a trailer, he can't be left in a trailer. He just rears because he's a bit of a lot, aren't you, Brockles? So Ella's off walking the course, and I am on babysitting duties, and I'm just giving him a little walk off, half warm up for her. Um, yeah, and there's a huge rain cloud, so we are He actually has got a loose day bottom. He looks really dusty from here as well. This is it! The start of a three day, well I say three day bender, but it's like a three day eventing. Right, um, Ella's starting us off for the run in the 90. Puppies. I'll cut your head off. There you are. <laughs> oh, and I've got tea, obviously. Oh, look at his little legs. Boy. So I have just watched Ella and Rocco and I absolutely love that pony like his little legs he's like a little turbocharged pony 
he is just loving life they're smashing it they're just going off around the last part of course um but yeah i'm going to grab some breakfast from the burger van now and then i'm actually going to work for a couple of hours um gotta get the overtime in gotta pay for all these events guys so i'll probably um catch up with you properly this afternoon when the prep starts for board hill tomorrow because i've got tack to clean lorry lorry trailer to pack i don't have a lorry i wish trailer to pack so yeah uh, breakfast, work, and then, um, yeah, time to get ready for tomorrow. Good evening. Well, good afternoon, actually. Um, work is done. It is now five past five, and I have just got to the stables, and I'm just updating you from the car because it's so windy. And not just, like, normal wind, like 60, 60 mile an hour winds. I look a really odd colour. I don't know what's going on with me, but, yes, so... Um, I can't, my brain is fried, I'm not, I'm not going to do well remembering my dressage test tomorrow. Um, what have I done today? Oh, Poplar. Poplar first thing this morning, which feels like it was yesterday because it was so early. Um, and Brock and Ella went clear and Sarah and Tiny went clear. So that was a really good day at the office. And I'm now just going to get Goaty in, um, run through my dressage test, clean my tack and then I've got a confession to make. So, I... I probably didn't have to tell you guys, I could have, you know, just claimed it was me, but I'm having someone come plat, bath and pull goat's tail for me. <laughs> she, she's so good at it, she does, um, she did, um, if you watch my little down and vlog, when I went back uh, the next day with um, Ella and Sarah, she platted up Tiny and Annie for that, and the plats stayed in all night, they looked amazing, and because we've got a really early start tomorrow, and I just didn't want the stress. I thought I would get Goaties done and because it's our regional final so he deserves to look smart doesn't he? He deserves to look his best so she's coming up at about half six, it's five o'clock now so I've got an hour and a half to ride and get things sorted and then yeah he's going to have his own makeover. Uh, I don't know she probably won't want to be on camera so I'll just get you like a before and after and then I'm going to pack the truck and everything up. I might even get the trailer out and move it out ready. I'll see, it's not much faff getting out of there. But yeah, so we're on the road. I want to leave the yard by half six tomorrow morning. Um, two and a half hours roughly to Board Hill. Um, and it's literally f 10 minutes up the road from where I picked socks up from last weekend. So it's a little bit frustrating that I have driven the same route two weeks in a row. But that's how it goes sometimes. But I'm going to stop waffling now because I expect this vlog will be really long. Even though it's only three days and not my normal weekly vlog. I'm going to get goatee in. And then go and clean my tack. I hate cleaning tack. I really do. I really hate it. Put it off. But yes, clean my tin, clean two lots of tack and then load everything up. And I might actually film um, some of the stuff that I take so it's kind of like a pack with me as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Just got on the yard and I have to show you this was a hair off my camera. So you guys should know by now how OCD I am and a little bit of an overthinker and a warrior, but that's another thing. Anyway, how OCD I am about things being clean and tidy. Well, you will know that Ella went out this morning and this is what the yard looks like. So we've got a bucket here and then I'm not sure what's in here. Head collar, towel, another head collar. And then in the middle of the yard, there's just two, oh no, they're pairs of boots pairs of boots this ups this upsets me so much i'm gonna have to pick them up i can't leave them in the middle i can't can't it just upsets me who can do that no no <laughs> it's official i think i have made the world's biggest straw bed oh my god look at me basically i don't know how close it is in there i don't know if you guys remember i had a big round bale of straw if you'll have seen and it's been lasting me since before maybe the start of the year and it's never ending and I've had enough of it and it was looking really messy so I cleared most of it out there's still a tiny bit in there but now my hazel's stacked nice and neat but to clear it out I had to put it in goat stable and it now means that he has a bed that's for probably for Suffolk Punch or Shire Horse let me show you now look at this for a bed I would actually sleep on that myself you know there is no excuse for getting poo stains tonight goatee no excuse I'm really current. Oh, I can't get my words out. I'm currently regretting my decision to go eventing. I've got boots that need cleaning. One saddle, two saddle, bridles. Ugh. There's too much to pack. Too much. 
and we are done that is the final run through actually the only run through of the test we've done um i dropped my whip because you're not allowed to whip at be forgotten about that um it just always falls on the forehand when i don't have a whip but we'll just try and make it look pretty and we'll see what we end up with tomorrow the main thing i want is him just to not die on me like he did in my any test sorry i'm squinting and it's still like 60 mile an hour winds um yeah i just want him going forwards i don't want any behind the leg comments um so yeah we'll see I'm just gonna walk him off and then um hopefully becky's coming to bath him and give him his little spruce up and i'll get some before photos in a minute for you guys okay so this is a before i haven't sponged him off because he's about to have a bath so this is the state of the main i'm sure i'm doing a before and after goatee before this is what the tail's looking like oh you can't see my shadows in the way can you see now a bit basil brush like again um yeah let's see what he looks like when he's all done <laughs> scratching his lip on the fence i'm gonna clean my tack now you're so handsome let's hope they all stay in i might put a little bit around one Boy. He's not far. Put that. Put it down so we can show the vlog your tail. Huh? Stop it, they don't want to see your bottom. <laughs> that looks better. Okay, as you can tell, Batman's here. It's a lot later than I planned. It's ten to nine. I've got all these sprouts. Um but the truck is finally packed, goat is bathed and sorted. Gonna go home, have some dinner, pack my stuff go to bed and then be back here for 5.30 for, oh, I can't get my words out, be back here at 5.30 to go eventing, I need to show a bit more enthusiasm, right have a good sleep go to no wild parties, big day tomorrow, see you as always. Good morning, um, oh, <laughs> shut the door. I love being down here early, it's so pretty. I don't think it's focusing, it's just me. Anyway, it is really pretty. It's eventing day, it's not even 6 a.m. yet. And you know you're going eventing when you're dressed like this. And yes, I have got, I don't think you can see, fluffy socks on. And these are actually Hannah's socks that I borrowed a long time ago. I haven't given back, if you're watching. Sorry, Hannah, I've still got them. I'm putting them to good use. Um, just got to the yard, see what Mr. Goat looks like this morning, give him his brekkie, I want to try and get him out just for 10-15 minutes. Good morning darling, good morning, I've just got a bottom, a very nice bottom too now you've had your tail pulled. Yeah I'm just going to chuck him out with his breakfast, um, just so we can have a leg stretch and then get the trailer out and yeah I can't believe that it's come round already today's the day um, I feel like I need to say this now because I'll probably forget to say it later my and I, I'm saying it to remind myself as well because it's really hard to not get sucked in to feel like trying to be competitive and then being disappointed etc etc so my only goal for today I actually have got two well actually my only goal is to complete all three phases um, and then if we do that it means we've got over the ditch and that's all I care about. Goat hasn't, we haven't been eventing since Stratford Hills last year where we got this regional final qualification. So well over a year and even then that was his first event since the season before. So he hasn't properly evented since 2018. So there is absolutely no pressure on him today. All I want to do is just finish. Finish with a smile. That's all that matters. Right, I'm going to feed him now and let's get this show on the road. Here he is, Batman. Oh, you noisy. Let's have your brekkie then. Oh, all right, all right. There you go. I think he's still clean. I'm not sure he's even laid down. Um, I will take all this off him, but I'm going to leave. Don't dig, honestly. I'm going to leave it on him while he's out and then I'll assess the damage afterwards. Um, hopefully the plaques are still and they look like they're in. I'm not going to travel him and all that because he'll be too hot. Right, now I must feed. Oh my goodness, look at that sky. I think the camera's picking it up. I really wish the camera picked up. Well, it's light over there. Oh, now Brock's shouting at me. It is so beautiful. I have to feed this one too or I get shouted at by him, I should add, not Ella. 
too noisy for this time of day, Brockies. You're going to wake everyone up. It's like, I don't care. Feed me, woman. Feed me. Here you go, then. Sorted. Boy. Okay, the plats are in. They look so good. Look at that. Are you handsome? Not fast, right? Really, I must hurry up because I'm running late. Go on. These are my kind of parking spaces. See you in a minute, goatee. We're just having a quick loo break. We're half an hour out. Um, so yeah, loo break, and then we will go the final bit. Ella's here, she's awake now. <laughs> day two of our um, three day eventing bender. <laughs> ah, we have made it, and the show jumping is on. It said it was on an incline online. It's a bit of an incline. So we'll, we'll see what Goat thinks of that, but we're just now dashing because we're about half an hour later than we planned. So we're now going to speed walk across country and then, yeah, I'll film the course for you. Okay, I'm probably going to be out puff in all of these clips because we are really marching, but I want to get on the jumps. I kind of wish I was jumping the 90. <laughs> but yeah, nice little log for number one. Yeah, I'm white. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sat at puff before, before <laughs> I even get on my horse. Number three. And then round past the dressage. Morning. Oh, I'm just going to walk this. There's no one coming, is there? And then through. I controversially never count my strides out cross country. Does anyone else count their strides between fences? Second part. Five. Oh, now there's a horse coming. Oh, but so, oh, then you come back up again. It's a really windy course. Trot when I get to you guys. <laughs> I'm going to trot when I get to you guys. <laughs> oh, it's tiny. He's got to go over this. I'm going over the, this ditch. He can walk over it. And then, yeah, eyes up for that. The random part in the middle. You want to tell your prediction to the vlog? Goat's going to fall over the ditch. Well, as long as he goes over it, I don't care. Morning. Seven means we're almost halfway. Big arc over that one. Probably the biggest fence we've so far. Not this corner, guys. That one over there. <laughs> I was contemplating, guys, saying I'd love to do novice one day, not on goat, obviously. And then I see fences like this when I'm course walking and think, eh, maybe I'll stay at 80 and 90 forever, you know? And it's doing the 100 tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, well, this is nice. Some palm trees on top. Can we're on holiday? They're like the top of pineapples, just stuck on the top of it. I like it. I'd come down this way, just so you get a bit of a straighter. Yeah, I think I would come round here as well. I don't like how I'm going to come to the outside of that tree. The ground will be a bit better as well. And then I can get straight. Let's just get out of the way as a horse come. Yeah, not for me. If you have a cheeky vlog, go on my vlog, whoever this is, if you're watching. <laughs> Number three. That rides really nicely. Ella's trying to hold my hand, half around the course, getting all romantic. Got an arm swing on. <laughs> yeah. God, this course is long and hilly. And then I'm just going to go straight through there. 13. It's not skinny. Well, yeah, but you watched. Better not just come up to be like, oh, it's a little bit skinny. I like the trees, though. They give you a good barrier. And then down here. Yeah, I might, because it's quite tight around here. I don't want him... Yeah, I'm going to trot around here. I just want to give him enough time to just read the question. Like, I'm not here to overface him and panic him again. Yeah. Trot up here. Yeah. Up there. And then, 
morning over B. Yeah, so when I come, I'll be over here, won't I? And then I'll have a nice line around and over B. And then around here, I feel like we're on the end of the earth around here. It feels like a long way back. She's trying to hold my hand again, honestly. You've got a boyfriend, Anna, behave. Sorry, Tom, if you're, she's making you watch this. <laughs> and then, I don't know, would you come? Yeah, so I need to get him balanced to come round there. Bear in mind, I haven't got any stubbles. And then over the pineapple. Remember, wood goes this way, and you hit it bang on, you ride it. I'm going for the, for the third pineapple so in the middle. Well, the wood goes this way, so you need to hit it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Straight in the middle. So you ride it like you're riding straight then? Yeah. Morning! And then. Oh, God, I hope they're not cleaning the road when I come round. It's a road sweep. 15. 16, we're almost there now, home stretch. Observations so far. A few questions, but it's a big long course and it's really hilly as well. Um but yeah, I've got my top coach with me. Shame you can't be with me in my ear the whole way round, but you're gonna stand at the ditch though and shout at me, so when people think you're itching your ear half around, it's just me talking. Yeah. What's that error? What what what? <laughs> Here we go. So the 90 one's quite beefy. Some of the 90 ones are all beefy actually. And then a nice little one for the 80. Is that that funny plastic bri bristles? Yeah, it is. Just saying, I've made an effort, conscious effort today to talk to every single fence judge and have a little chat. Um, so when I go past, hopefully they'll, I think that, the ladies at fence 17 just asked my number. So hopefully they'll give me a little cheer when I get this far. 18. And then look at that, that is like a pond for the water. Lacking impulsion, more revs needed. Oh, we can cross the bridge. Morning! And then through the water, watch out for the little stone islands in the middle. Where would you come out through that gap? I'd come out through the gap between B and the fence. Yeah, come on. You can do the start and then the ditch and then I've got to go all that way around the back there. And then hopefully you'll pick us up coming through the water at the end. And then I don't know, I think that might be the last one. Does it end on the water? Or is it, oh no, there's one, one more, like a hay cart right at the end. God, I'm out of puff, this is hilly. <laughs> He's here, right back at the start again. 19 to finish this one over here. Course is warped and it's now time to go and do the dressage. Hopefully I can remember my test because it's been a long time since I've done a dressage test where I can't have a cover. You've got two circles and like five straight lines. <laughs> yeah, if I go wrong it's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? Uh, I only need to see when there's a show jumping warm up, as, uh, course walk as well. Too much to do. Got back from the loo and I was like, where the hell is my horse? He looks so good. So good, go to Oi, gosh, I mean. I'm gonna have to stop before I fall over. Amazing. Is everyone still on your number? Very strange. Do you stand? There, Ella is down there. Um, it was a really good test actually, I was really pleased with him. My main aim was for him to not go behind the leg and die on me like he did when we did our Ellie test. So um, I was really pleased with that, although maybe a bit too much because we missed our first, our second trot transition, he just kept cantering. So we'll get marked down for that, but it was one movement in the whole test. But overall I was really pleased with him and he, um, we got a nice halt as well. We've been struggling with our halts at home. So yes, overall I am really, really chuffed with that. He was so chill 
the warm up as well and this it is really busy and he hasn't been in a busy warm up for so long and he's just taking it all in his stride we're gonna go jumping next oh the show jumping's on such an incline um we know that goat's a bit clumsy so i um I think we might have a pole or two you know but just want to get round just want to get oh and we've walked across country as well and there's a few questions but we're gonna attack it we're gonna attack it Go, go, go. Show jumping well, is well, done! Well, and Goatee well, was so yeah, good. We had one down. We had the, um, it's raining, the first part, the double down, which is quite normal for us, but the main thing is he was so rideable. For the first time in a long time, I felt like I actually had a half decent show jumping pony, so I can take the first part of the double down. I'm going to snip the plaques out now. And I also found out that I was apparently in the lead after. Yeah, so I thought, what did I get? 24. Big, uh, 24 wow i'm quite happy with that quite happy with that especially as we got that um we messed up a transition as well so i'll take that but yeah i'm not i think i think they said we had time faults as well so um yeah i'm not feeling um too stressed about cross country i just want to get around i will speak to you guys on the other side i'm gonna cut my horse's plaits out now uh, and try and remember the course because it's so winding Glowing, he's golden. Coast got his really main. We're going cross country. Um, I can't get you up. There. Only goal is to get round. He's done such an epic. He did an epic dressage, an epic show jumping. He owes me nothing. To get round and have fun. And what are you gonna have lots of? Revs, 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 revs. Sergeant over the ramp at nine. We have McDonald's and Don John. Amazing.
My horse is a total legend. We went over the ditch first time. I was so determined and um, I knew that Ella was standing there so I would have no excuse if I rode like poop because I should never let me forget it. But he was such a good boy. I don't know. I think we might have been slightly slow just because I didn't. I should have pushed him more in the first half but I don't really care because he just went clear across country and I'm so happy and I loved like the last half of the course. I was just literally like cheering over every fence and just having like the best time. Oh, I've forgotten how much I love eventing when it goes well. Um, and I just, it's so nice to puff because obviously I've just done, it was five minutes of cross country riding, but I just can't ask any more of Goat. He's done, he's been as good as gold, did an epic dressage. One down in the show jumping, that's fine. That he's always like that, but he rode a beautiful round. And then clear cross country with a step up and a ditch. Two of the things we've really been working on. Yeah. Oh, so happy. Right, Ella's overtaking me. She's taking me off. My arm's aching. I put the phone down. I'll catch up with you guys. I love coffee breath back. And we are home. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this. Um, I dread to think it's so mattered. Um, Goatee's here. I've just got him off the, there he is. Just got him off the trailer. I'm gonna put him out in a minute, but I've just crashed. Ella and I um, just had to roll his, um, I bought him another round bed of hay. So it lasted two weeks. Um, so I've just, we've had to roll that up. We got halfway and we're like, too tired, too tired. But we've got to go with Inting again tomorrow. Um, I say it like it's a chore, I can't wait. We're going with Annie to Great Witchingham, but so proud of my little goat. Um, so proud of him. I kind of feel like was today him telling me that he's not ready to give up eventing yet. Maybe we will dabble in it some more. Oh, he was absolutely epic. I just can't believe that he did such a good dressage. And the thing I'm most proud of, I think, is his show jumping. Although we got time faults show jumping, um, it was such a hilly course. It was on one hell of an incline. And I had images of us sliding down, like rolling down that hill into f and crashing into fences. And he jumped incredibly. Um, I can deal with one pole down. I don't know where the time for, if we didn't have time faults all day, basically we would have um, placed in the top five, but I didn't really, I'm not pushing him round a hilly show jumping course. I'm not having him lose his confidence. I don't care. And then um, cross country, I knew I wasn't competitive at that point. So although I had my stopwatch on to see time, I wasn't stressed about it. I just wanted to get round and I got lost. So windiest course the first part was fine and then um i think it was after seven after that point i had no idea where i was going and i had to keep stopping well not stopping but you know like whirling off the pace a bit so i could try and figure out where the next fence was and a lot of it was downhill as well which goat does struggle with i can't push him on so much downhill he's just not because he's on the forehand it just doesn't work not that i'm making excuses um i don't care that we were over the time because he was absolutely insane. He went over that ditch and I actually rode it for once. And I was, I didn't care <laughs> at that point. Um, he went up the step. He just jumped absolutely everything. I am so, so, so proud of him. So proud. I am 100% procrastinating from um, packing up, but I've just watched our round back and I now know where some of the seven time faults show jumping came. I didn't realise I did it till I watched it back, but the line from fence, I don't know why I'm waving my car key at you, the line from fence eight to nine, everyone else was walking it, was riding it inside between two fences, and I actually didn't get a chance to walk the course today. Um, and I went round the fences, which I think added a bit of time, and I brought him back to trot to rearrange him, and he's quite slow show jumping anyway. So that makes sense. I know where those seven time faults came from, and I know where the however many time, I think we've got 10 time faults cross country. I've watched the videos again, and um, you'll have seen them by now and heard how much I was enjoying life, particularly <laughs> before the water, if you hear me go, woohoo! Uh, by that point, I was just so chuffed with him. Um, yeah, the first half of the course we were on, we were on slug mode, go was, so um, it's fine. I don't care because I'm so happy. Okay, I need to finish packing up now. This is the worst part, um, but I probably won't speak to you guys again. I'm just, today even, obviously I'll speak to you guys again. Um, I am going to unpack, leave goats feed, and then go home, bath and shower, and then tomorrow 
is day three of our weekend of eventing and we're off to Great Witchingham with Ella and I am on foot tomorrow so um, yeah bring you guys along for that and I will see you in the morning. Just had a drink and now obviously we've got to have that post XE event roll haven't we? The dust is going everywhere because Got to dig first. Got to dig himself a nice dusty spot. Nope, not dusty enough. A bit more. A bit more. Is that all right? You're not even going to roll in the hole that you've just built. No, we're going to dig another hole. <laughs> Is that dusty enough? Honestly, go. Here we go. This is it. This is good. Nope, we've noticed our round veil. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Come and have a roll, goatee. I haven't unwrapped unra that yet. Oh, he's trying to eat them. Oh my goodness. This horse. We changed our mind on the roll. Hey, it's life for goat, basically. I just had to pull down the string at the top so we could get some. Bless him. Goat, put your bits away. Honestly. It's a hard day, Mum. I'm just letting it all hang out. People don't want to see that goatee. Right, I'm stopping vlogging now. I'm going to embarrass him. Have to cover his modesty up. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Day three of our eventing, um, manic eventing weekend. I don't actually feel like I've been home at all. I don't feel like I slept. Uh, I actually slept really badly last night. Um, I think it was all the adrenaline from yesterday and then knowing I had to be up again to get down here to help Ella this morning. Yeah, I just woke up loads of times and I was really restless, so I'm feeling very tired today. But it's okay because I'm not riding, so um, I can just chill out and groom, which is fine. I'm just going to quickly jump on Goatee and give him a stretch around the stubble just to walk him off after yesterday to check he's not sore at all. Um, and then I think we're leaving about 10 to go to Great Witching with Annie um, and Ella's doing the 100 so yeah we've ha so far Ella smashed it on Friday with Brock obviously Goaty and I had an epic day yesterday so let's hope for the hat trick and that um, we're going to have an excellent day again today I'm going to struggle to get my words out today guys so I'm sorry if I'm making no sense in this part of the vlog your hair is touching the roof yeah <laughs> it's like staying stuck in the roof we are using our snacks. We are on the way. Annie um, is being a very good girl. She can be difficult to travel sometimes, but so far, so good. Fingers crossed. And Ella's doing the 100 today, and you're not nervous, are you? Cool beans here. Cool beans. We'll see if that changes when we walk the course. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're on the way. We're only about, it says, 15 minutes away. So, um, not long to go and it does look a bit cloudy and hopefully it's not going to rain as we both just realised that we have no coats so hopefully no rain. We are going, we think we've sat down to take us the wrong way, we're going up the narrowest road and I'm literally sat here like this, I can't watch, literally my heart is in my, I'm such a bad passenger, um, when I'm driving I'm fine, I'm just not a good passenger, how I used to be a police officer, I don't know and sit in the passenger seat on blue light runs, not fun. Oh no, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> that is ridiculous. It's because it's brushy, isn't it? They can add it on the top. Oh, Annie, I hope you've got your jumping shoes on. <laughs> We're up to fence eight, and um, I want to keep saying, and I just said, I just keep saying, all of them, they're bloody big. <laughs> like, I, I've changed my mind again. I'm staying at 90 forever because. How is this? <laughs> I can't get behind it. <laughs> oh. Don't look in the hole. Look straight through. Maybe I can. I might, I might be able to get back round here. I mean, if I really run, probably not actually. Whoa. Are you still excited? Yeah. Think about the ticks. <laughs> oh god, they fall down. Off she goes. Look more excited. This is the scariest bit. 
No, it's not. This is the it's the easiest bit. Just stay within the white boards. I can't even go forwards. <laughs> <laughs> stay within the white boards and then you get to do the fun stuff. Right, I'll just run Sarah her studs and then I'll come meet you. You got this? We are in the dress up warm up. Ella is somewhere. There she is. Uh, oh, no, this is not working. There she is. <laughs> I just picked up um, somebody else's whip. And we just bumped in to Carla um, from, I think she's, is she Muddy Mayhem? You'll probably all know her for the go on cross country. She is in Ella's class and she's um, a couple before Ella. So hopefully we will cross over all day. Um, but it's so nice coming out. Oh, incoming. Annie's gate crashed, the vlog. Oh, and lots of flies. Um, I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by this big bay that, um, it is nice to be out and bumping into people, social distance of course. Well, it's quite easy when I'm on the ground and they're up there. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be out again seeing people and I love bumping into people who I've met through vlogging and Instagramming and it's so nice. And I don't know what's going on with my hair. I look like I've stuck my finger in a socket. Oops. So I am just out um, by the start box waiting for Sarah to go cross country. She's actually up here with Tiny, but we travelled the girls um, separately. So um, there wouldn't be any calling to each other or stress as they are a little bit attached. So she's about to go cross country and then I'm going to run back over because Ella's waiting to go show jumping and hopefully be able to film her show jumping round and then um, back for cross country again, basically. <laughs> Make a right. Yes. Go on, go on. Good, good. Good girl, last one. Last one. Steady down the hill. Steady, 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 steady. Oh, little legend. Who just went clear? How chuffed are you? Okay. That was such a lush round. And I nearly rammed one down. That I yeah, and the pole, it. the pole wobbled and I was like, no. <laughs> I, back, I, like, I saw, that was that two. Uh, it was no, coming down the hill, wasn't it? It was and then you came round to the double, I think, afterwards, yeah. yeah. Smashed it. Ooh. Annie and I are just here. I'm just I'm balancing my trailer. I'm just about to finish. Take out her last plat. And we're just having a little cross country pet talk. Ella's gone to speak to Sarah because um, didn't quite go to plan with Tiny today. Um, so I am here with Princess Annie and I'm going to cut her plat out. And like I said, we're having a little pep talk because she's got to look after Ella and come home safe and clear, please. And I really want to double clear and I really want it for her. Like, she's worked so hard with Annie. I don't think I've told you guys this, but um, and he actually had a injury and Ella has rehabbed her um, so as she started riding Annie all she could do was walk and she walked her for months and months and months and she's basically rehabbed her um, and it's all been for this so yeah come on princess you got this I just so hope that they have a really fun confidence giving round um, and Annie's jumped a uh, novice before so this should be a walk in the park for her shouldn't it right let's snip this last little plat out and um, then we'll be going off to the cross country. <laughs> I think she's in the start box. Oh my God, I'm so nervous, my hair's everywhere. I've taken my hoodie off, so I'm ready to run, tied it around my waist, I'm gonna run, run to get her at the brush and then run for the last. Come on, come on Ella and Annie, come on. Let's finish this three day venting weekend on a bang. You got this, you got this. Go on, good girl. <laughs> You got this! And now I run. I've timed it. I've got about a minute, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, come on, Ella. You got this. Okay, I can see her. Oh, I've made it. Come on. Go. Yes. Let's be zoom in and see if you guys can see her. There she is. My God, I'm unfit. Come on. Go. Go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm near the last two now. Um, she's clear so far. She's done the huge brush. She's, she's just going through the water, I think. And she should just come back into view, but Annie is flying. She's literally making this look like it's an 80. Such an incredible horse that ever's doing an epic job. Comes home stretch now. Come on, Ella. You've worked so hard for this. Woohoo! Two to go. You got this! Woo! Last one. What a freaking legend. She just went clear around her first hundred. Oh. We are on the way home. Wow, we look a bit different from this morning. <laughs> it is quarter to seven on Sunday night and we are on the home stretch from our three day eventing vendor and I would say it's been a success. Um, Rockies went clear across country. We had a pole in the show jumping Friday, then went clear. Um, obviously Goat did amazing yesterday and someone double clear at 100. We don't know the dress size score yet but I think they're going to be quite competitive. So yeah, I'm going to finish the vlog here and I think there'll be a weekly vlog next week. We'll get back to some normality but you guys know the drill. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Can you do a thumbs up for me, Anna? Do that. <laughs> Leave me a comment below and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our manic antics taking all our ponies eventing because there are more eventing weekends coming. Bye guys!